Hello, Assalamu Alaikum. This is me, Kiran Sayyid. Welcome to session number 12 of Second Day Botany. In the last session, we discussed what secondary tissues are and how secondary growth is taking place in a plant so that the width or the diameter of a plant's trunk can increase. And along with it, the plant is increasing its size as well as the newly made xylem cells because of their cell wall thickness and lignification are providing support to the plant. Now today we will be starting the topic of significance or the importance of secondary tissues in a plant that is on page number 31. Before doing that, before moving to what the importance of secondary tissues is in a plant, we, are, we have to go back to what we discussed earlier and review it a bit because it's a bit complicated topic. Now moving back, we were discussing this picture right here and we said that if this is the young part, it needs to start secondary growth and for that there will be formation of vascular cambium, which means a layer of actively dividing cells will be made in between the vascular bundles as well as in the cortex and they will divide to give rise to the secondary xylem and secondary phloem as well as there will be formation of the cork cambium which will result in the formation of cork and that cork will be protecting the trunk or the tree or the inner cells from the outer environment. The first thing that happened was the formation of vascular cambium. The vascular cambium was made up or it was a ring which was made up of fascicular cambium as well as interfascicular cambium and when this layer or the ring of vascular cambium starts dividing on the inner side the primary xylem was there and when it starts growing on the inside secondary xylem will be made however when this vascular cambium is going to divide on the outside it is going to give rise to the secondary phloem now, when this takes place, it takes place continuously, air after air, and because of that, the outer side new phloem will be made, and on the inner side, the xylem will be made. But keep that in mind, the division or the cell division of xylem is way more than the cell division of phloem, and that is why the phloem will be pushed outwards towards the outer layers of the trunk. However, the xylem will be dividing very rapidly and thick layers or broad layers will be made and those layers will later be called as the annual rings. That is the topic of today under the heading of the importance of secondary growth. Now look at this very last picture that we did, did not discuss in the last class. In this picture, you can see the vascular cambium is right here. Please have a look at where, at where my cursor is. This is the vascular cambium and when it divides on the outside new phloem cells which will be called as the secondary phloem will be made and on the inside new xylem which will be called as the secondary xylem will be made. Now keep that in mind that in the beginning this primary xylem was connected to the vascular cambium. However, when the division in the vascular cambium took place, new layers of xylem was made. So. In the beginning, this light blue layer was formed. Next year, this dark blue layer was formed. So we can say that more and more layers will be formed and the secondary xylem will be pushing the primary xylem on the inside and the primary and secondary phloem on the outside. But if you look closely on the picture, you will be able to see that the thickness of the xylem, even if it's secondary or if it's primary, starts from here to here, which is way thick if we are comparing it to the thickness of the phloem, which is way thinner. And that is why when the formation of annual rings takes place, we are going to consider it the growth of xylem or the layers of xylem cells. Now going back to your book, the first thing or the first point that is written about the significance of secondary tissues and when we are discussing secondary tissues, we are eventually, we are considering the presence of cambium cells which are the actively dividing meristematic cells of a plant. Now when secondary growth is taking place, the cambium is working and this cambium is not only increasing the size of the plant and giving support to the plant because they are the actively dividing cells, they are going to form new cells whenever there is a wound. A wound basically means that if we are 
picking a flower from a plant or if there is grazing around a plant and the plant is damaged in that case a callus formation will take place in the plant so that the new cells callus is the term that is used for the formation of mass of cells and that mass of cells will be responsible to do many tasks out of which one we are discussing right here that whenever there is a wound because of one reason or the other the plant is going to make a callus on that wound and that callus cells will be coming from the meristematic or cambium cells and that is why secondary growth is important as well moving forward to the next picture that is right here on the screen it is the same as what we discussed earlier a minute ago this is a young stem in here you can see these are the separate vascular bundles and in these vascular bundles first thing that happened for secondary growth is the formation of vesicular cambium now look at the next picture on the right side a whole ring of vascular cambium is made containing of the fascicular as well as interfascicular cambium. Now you can see that the vascular bundles are all gone. The xylem and phloem are made. Secondary xylem is made on the inside. The secondary phloem is made on the outside. And this is the formation of cork cambium as well as the cork. Now the last picture is the one that we are discussing today. To understand this picture first you need to see where the cambium is and this layer right here is the layer of vascular cambium. On the inner side of the plant or the inner side of this vascular cambium these layers are the layers of secondary xylem that are made and on the outside these are the layers of the secondary phloem. Now going forward towards the next picture, I have to explain this topic of annual rings. Annual rings in a tree are the rings which are formed because of the formation or because of the secondary growth. Look at this picture, you can see this is a piece of wood and in this piece of wood or a piece of log, you can see there are many layers which are visible. Now keep that in mind, the cambium will be present right here on the very outside or the outer layers of the trunk and on the inside it is going to keep forming new layers of secondary xylem one layer in one ear and that is why these rings are called as the annual rings because when in the beginning this first layer was formed this cambium was right here and the plant was very thin however in the second year third fourth year the secondary xylem kept on growing the secondary xylem kept on forming and new layers are formed on the inside and the phloem is pushed on the outside as well as the cambium is pushed on the outside and that is why this layer right here that is a bit darker in shade is containing that cambium new layers are formed every air on the inside and this phloem and cambium will be pushed on the outside and that is why each of this ring is going to tell us that this one ring was made in one ear so that is important for the study of plants because if we are going to take a log and count the rings we are going to understand how old the tree is for example in this one this is the second ring third ring fourth ring and so on it this trunk is containing 24 rings which means this tree was 24 years old now look at this picture to understand the annual rings a bit more first things first understand where the cambium is this is the vascular cambium this is the phloem and all these rings are the rings of xylem which are the secondary xylem now keep that in mind whenever a new ring is formed it will be formed from this vascular cambium which means this vascular cambium will move further away from the center of the trunk and that is why another layer will be formed right here. Now look closely at the layer I'm pointing at. This one dark layer and one light layer is forming one annual ring. There are two parts of one annual ring. One will be called as the late wood and one part will, which is lighter in color will be called as the early wood. 
Now, when the season outside in the environment of a tree is good, or we can say it's springtime, the cells of xylem are going to grow rapidly, or we can say the vascular cambium will form the secondary xylem very quickly, and bigger cells will be formed, more cells will be formed. However, when summer time is there, or the growth season, or late in the growth season, the cells of secondary xylem will be formed, they will be formed a bit dense with less air spaces and that is why this darker shaded region will be formed. Now, if we are counting one annual ring, we have to count late wood and early wood as one annual ring. Now, if you look closely at this picture, there are these brown lines and the yellow lines. One yellow and one brown line is going to comprise one annual ring. This yellow color tells us that this is the spring wood and this darker shaded region is telling us that this is late wood and these two colored layers are going to form one annual ring now keep that in mind when new rings are formed and it they keep and they keep on forming on the outside the very inner side of a tree trunk is going to have the oldest xylem and in some cases, this older xylem cells in the very middle of the tree trunk are going to have the positions of certain kinds of substances. And because of those substances, the xylem cells will be blocked and they will no longer be able to conduct water through them. And they will change their color to a darker shade. And that darker shade means the xylem cells are having some kind of darker shaded substances inside them. However, on the outside, the color of the wood will be light and that means that they are actively conducting cells. They are conducting water from the roots towards the upper part of that tree. Now that is all for today. The references to the media I use today are on the screen. If you want to have a look at them, just open these links. I will be providing them in the description as well. Thank you very much. That is all for today. Goodbye.